Hello everyone, this is Shudipto from Technical Potpourri and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be discussing about new techniques to secure your Apex code with user mode database operations. So let's explore this together. As we all know, we have two modes, system mode and user mode. Apex code runs in system mode by default, which means it will run with higher permission. In system mode, the class sharing keywords controls the sharing rule. But now with Spring 23 release, you can specify the user mode access for database operations, field level security, which is nothing but FLS and object permissions of the running users will be respected and it always applies the sharing rule. So let's see this with some examples. So here I am in my Salesforce org. I have created a very basic Apex class and here is the Apex class where I am trying to find out all the case access. I'm trying to create a case and I'm trying to create a case with the system mode. I've created a user and the username is Kelly Jones. If I open that user here, the user is having a profile called read only. And in that profile, if I go to the object settings, you will find that the case object case permission is read and view all. So with this profile, Kelly is supposed to see all the cases in the system, but Kelly is not supposed to create or edit any case. So here I am logged in another tab with Kelly, as you can see here, and I've opened the same class in the developer console. Now I'm going to first run this method. Here is a method case controller and case view and let's execute. And let's open the debug log. And as you can see, Kelly can see all the cases in the system because here in the Kelly's profile is read only and with the read only profile, there is a read permission, which is good. Now let's go back to this one. As you can see here, while accessing the case, I'm executing an SQL query, but with Spring 23 release, along with the SQL query, you can specify which in which mode you want to run this SQL query. Is it in the user mode or system mode? So you have two modes, user mode and system mode. With the user mode, this class will run respecting user's permission. So let's do the same thing here. This time I'll execute this method, which is basically creating the case. Now here I'm doing a database.insert single case and the access level I'm giving as user mode. What I'm telling Apex is that do an insertion respecting the running user's permission. And we know that Kelly is not having the permission to create case. So let's see how it will execute. So this time I'm executing this function and click on execute. As you can see, the DML operation insert is not allowed on case. The reason is that Kelly's profile is read only and with read only profile, we don't have the create permission. Now let's execute the same, everything same. Just instead of the user mode, if we just put the system mode, which basically tells Apex that now execute this function using system mode. Don't worry about what is the user's permission. So now let's execute this function. And this function executed successfully. So it means that with the user mode and the system mode, you can specify whether the running user's access will be respected or not. Now let's do one more experiment. Now with this function, we saw that Kelly is able to see all the cases because Kelly's profile is having the read and the view all permission. And here in this query, we are trying to fetch ID and subject. What about if I remove the view permission from the subject field? So let's edit this read profile and in the subject field, I'm removing the view permission. And let's save that. Now this time, if I try to execute this function, let's see what will happen. Previously, it ran successfully because Kelly's profile is having the view all permission. But this time when I will run, it's not able to find subject field because Kelly's profile is having no FLS. 
the FLS is set as false. So what I'm trying to tell you here is that with user mode, it will not only respect the object level permission, but it will also respect the field level permission. In this case, we saw Kelly's profile is not having the view permission on the subject. That's why this execution failed. And here is the documentation for this new feature. The link I'll put in the description of this video. You can go through that, but I think it's a very powerful feature. And we all should use this feature in our Apex code to make our Apex code more secure. So I hope this short video is helpful. Please hit the like icon and share and please subscribe to my channel to get update about all my upcoming videos. Till then, keep learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.